It is about to be a very busy weekend in town because the annual Indy Pride Parade and Festival kicks off tomorrow morning at 10. Yeah, this is going to be big. And tonight, our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick joins us live from downtown, getting us ready for all of the fun. Yeah, Lauren, what do you think people can expect? Well, Jenny and Felicia, people can expect a lot of fun out here. Right now, organizers are still kind of putting the final touches on things, and performers are making some last-minute tweaks before tomorrow's big festival. And we know that this is going to be a really exciting day, but there's also some big changes coming this year, so organizers want you to be prepared. <laughs> The all day celebration starts at 10 with the Indy Pride Parade. Organizers say the route is a lot longer this year, starting at College and Mass and then ending near Delaware Street. So there's more uh, places for people to get a seat and, and, and watch that fun event. Last year we had more than 60,000 people at the parade. Yeah! Then at 11, gates will open at the Pride Festival in Military Park. Everything including music, dancing, and food. This year, there will be three stages with 50 live artists. And you will need a ticket to get in. You can either purchase one online or at the gates. It will cost $10. And we encourage people to buy their tickets in advance. The lines can get really long to get in. And if you buy your ticket in advance, you can avoid that box office line. Plus, this year there are new safety guidelines in place, including a clear bag policy, similar to sporting events and concerts. Bags will need to be clear plastic, vinyl, or PVC, and can't be bigger than 12 by 6 by 12. The only exceptions are medical and diaper bags. Smaller clutch bags and wallets are okay. Just like any other venue uh, on a large scale like this, um, uh, we want to make sure that all of our attendees are safe, and so we are instituting a clear bag policy this year. And as, get, and as for getting around tomorrow, we know there will be some street closures, especially around that parade route. So that means more traffic and some parking restrictions. But also, Jenny and Felicia, we know that a lot of folks from our WTHR team will be part of that parade, and they're going to be having a lot of fun. So if you see them, make sure you say hi.